on 20 as well and I cannot warm up for the life of me. So we're sitting with it on. I've made myself a Earl Grey tea. Oh, I am so cold. It's a joke. Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I hope life is treating you all very well. So for today's video, we've got an exciting one. I'm going to be sitting down and showing you what I've been picking up in charity shops recently. <gasps> There's a lot because I'm addicted to charity shops. Honestly, like I have a spending addiction. It's quite evident that I can't stop spending money. But when I'm spending money in charity shops, I don't feel as bad. I'm helping a good cause. Things are cheaper. It's a win-win. It's a three-way win. Anyway, so I have been spending quite a bit recently and I thought I'd sit down and show you some things that I've been picking up because I'm very excited about them and I want to show off my bargains and I'm sorry that you can't go out to your charity shop and buy the same things that I've got here. But you know, go to your local charity shop. Hopefully you'll find some bargains, okay? We're just going to start. I don't know where to start. We're just going to start. I've got this one. It's because I'm, I can't warm up. This isn't actually from a charity shop. I like. It's not all charity shop. Well, it is, apart from this one thing. I actually got this in Poundland the other day, and I thought it was cute. So I thought I'd show you it. I think it was £2, though. I mean, really, can Poundland even be called Poundland anymore? Because very minimal stuff in there is a pound, but I do still think everything's good quality and good price. This is £2, and I really like it, you know? I like the candy cane. Oh, what's the song? Welcome to Candy Cane Lane. I was just going to say, I don't know if it's glass. That sounds like glass, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like it is glass. Oh, only thing I got that's not from a charity shop. Everything else is a charity purchase. So let's go. First thing is I bought these. I actually bought some of these off Timu last month, but I seen these in a charity shop for £1.20 and I thought I'd get them. I'm having a Christmas party in December. I love a Christmas party and it's just photo props, little cardboard photo props. I had to have them. I had to have them because I was just like, stop! Anyway, so I have two packets of these now and I'm basically just going to put them all over the house so people can use them to take festive photos. And I just think they're so cute. Right, we'll start with this bag first. I'm just gonna go through the bag. I bought this for my scrapbook. I'm gonna rip it apart. I'm really sorry if this is gonna offend you because I am gonna rip it off. But I just loved it. There was something about it. I mean, it is already ripped anyway. But like, there was just something about it. I just thought that was absolutely stunning, me love. I just love it. It's like an old vintage piece of paper thing. But yeah, I think I paid 20 pence for it. It was like ridiculously cheap. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy that because I'm going to rip it up and put it in a scrapbook and create a page out of it. I'm always looking for stuff like this in charity shops. If you know of any charity shops in the northeast that have a good craft area, please tell us because I'm always looking for stuff like this. So I'm going to make some pages in my scrapbook with that and I'm absolutely buzzing I am. Oh, I got this as well, which again is for my scrapbook. This is an old magazine from the 5th of July 1981. It's the Sunday Times magazine. I don't know who that little girl is. Maybe it's Princess Diana. Why did I just think that was her? Ah, Lady Day's childhood. Maybe I subconsciously read that. But anyway, that's Lady Diana. Um, but it's just this really old magazine that I fully intend to cut up and scrapbook the shit out of. <laughs> anyway, I then was in a charity shop and they had this little bucket and it was like three things for a pound. So I got three teddies for the pups for Christmas. Um yeah i spoil my dogs at christmas so i got them this little fish i always buy ones that haven't got beaded eyes so i will run them through the wash and everything um but they got this little fish and he's very cute and i know that luna will grab a hold of that in like raggily's fin and she'll have a whale of a time so they've got the fish they also i got this the love little ones luna has this like little squirrel and she loves it a bit so i got her that well the elves got her that and Santa also brought them this. It's just like a little cupcake cushion thing. It's so cute. Um, but Luna is such a toy dog. She loves her toys so much. And I just thought these were absolutely adorable. So these will be wrapped up and given to the dogs for Christmas. I have a bookshelf in the living room. And it's like a woodland theme. I 
love woodland theme. Um, my full living room's kind of woodland, is it? No, it's not. Just the bookshelf. The bookshelf's my main woodland, but I found these and I thought I'm going to have to get them to add to my woodland. So this was £2. It's a little squirrel. So cute. Um, I really, really like this. It actually says on the bottom, plants plus garden centre and it was originally 8 99 and i got him for two pound and he's holding his little nut or he's holding a pine corner or an acorn and i just think he's so cute you're so cute mister you're so cute so this is my little squirrel and then i also seen this which i couldn't leave it's a deer and a robin and i absolutely love it um a red deer finest porcelain not really sure but this is her isn't she gorgeous um three pound i paid for this one i think it's absolutely stunning and look at the little robin oh so they are the new additions to the woodland bookcase and i'm very excited about them i have an obsession with mugs i need to stop but i am going to clear my mugs out and give some of my mugs to the charity shop but i bought these two little beige mugs i just really like them well 50 pence each they're just they're quite plain they've just got like a, a tiny little like ripple effect they're a good size you know but i just thought i was having a neutral moment when i bought these so yeah a pound for two mugs got them too i am obsessed with wearing scarves at the minute i never used to wear scarves hats or anything but i've been using scarves as part of my like accessories as part of my outfit um, and I only own two scarves, so I seen these and I picked them up. I got this beige one, it's very plain, it's just like ribbed and it has tassel on each side. But I do wear a lot of brown and black and beige colours, so I thought this one is just a neutral one. It's got no pattern on it, it goes with everything, it'll just be perfect. So I picked up this scarf, I think this was a pound. And then I also picked up this other brown scarf, but this one's a little bit thicker looks like this it's in a darker shade as well and again it has tassels at the bottom but thicker tassels and where's this one originally from does it say M&S so your girl's got an M&S scarf that I paid a quid for I just think this will look really nice um and like I said I'm wearing scarves a lot recently so I can justify getting two new ones so I like this as well for a quid right I've been I like to buy all of my books from charity shops they're cheap cheerful you're given to a good cause and then I always give my books back to charity shops when I'm finished with them and I wanted a new book so I got this one it's called The Gift um yeah I just thought I'd try a new genre so this was only 50 pence as well bargain and it says the perfect daughter is dead and the secret is eating her family alive Jenna is given another shot at life where she receives a donor heart from a girl called Callie eternally grateful to Callie and her family Jenna gets closer to them but she soon discovers that Callie's perfect family is hiding some dark secrets Callie's parents are grieving yet Jenna knows they're only telling her half the story where is Callie's sister Sophie? She's been abroad since Callie's death, but something about her absence doesn't add up. And when Jenna meets Callie's boyfriend Nathan, she makes a shocking discovery. So if you would like us to report back in a vlog how I get on with this book, let us know. But I was quite intrigued by the story of this one. So I was like, you know what? No book time. Then I found this. Now, this is not something I'd usually pick up because of the colour. But, but... I just had to get it. It's a barbaco and I got it for a tenner. Okay. 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 I'll try it on for you. Just gonna give you a full demo of it. This was a tenner. And I'm actually pretty buzzing about it. The thing is, it's in a size 18. The thing is, that chair can go in there. Right, so this is what it looks like. The thing is, I do not wear this colour ever, often, at all. But I wanted a coat for dog walking just to spice up my wardrobe a bit you know and I thought I actually like this so I bought it and I, and I remember when I was in school I used to have two barber coats I had like a farmer green one and a navy one and I really loved them I wore them all through school and you know what I thought I probably wouldn't pay the price of like a barber coat from barber but from a charity shop for a tenner your girl can have that I really like it it's a nice length pocket adds a bit of colour to us and I thought you know I'm taking it I'm absolutely taking this so this is my new little barber coat I actually really like it and it's got that secret pocket as well that's what I really love about barber coats because a lot of women's coats and women's stuff don't have pockets inside but this one does and it's perfect 
There you can see me little me little label. I don't know what I did with my barber coats, the ones that I used to have. I pro well, they wouldn't fit us now anyway, but I'll probably give them to me mum. She might have sold them or something. But yeah, I am really happy with that, to be honest with you. So I got myself a barber coat. Oh, I've got clothes now, so maybe I'll just leave that off so I can treat the clothes. Okay, I'll do that. The next clothes that I got, I got this red cardigan. It was £2. All the clothes that I'm going to show you, apart, like now, onwards, were £2. £2 each. So, you know, I got a red cardigan. Love me cardigans at the minute. Oh, I love a balloon sleeve. Oh, stop. Stop it. Oh, yeah, this is actually unreal. Love this. Doesn't have pockets. Slightly annoying. But again, just trying to oof the colour in my wardrobe. I've gotten very beige, I've gotten very black. And I'm just like, I want a red. I do love a red. Me nana has this red coat. And I remember once when we were younger, we were at like, like a pub show and she got referred to as Sharon Osbourne because I think Sharon Osbourne used to wear a red coat. Not 100% sure, but anyway. This, I love the arms. And it's just a bit of colour. Do I look like a grandma? I might well do. Do I care? I do not. I think Gordon might actually keep this on a sec because you know it's cold. I got this for me mum because I knew me mum would really like it. It's in this like really, really thin material. If it's got a label on, I'll tell you what exact material it is because I'm crap at describing things. It hasn't got a label, so I'm not telling you what material it is, am I? Anyway, papaya? Matalan, I want to say. Um, but it's in a size 20. It's really nice. It's like a zebra print. Um, it's got long armed, but it's in this like thin, light material. And I know me mum would like this. And I thought two quid. So I got that for me mum. Then I got this for me. Two pound again. And I was buzzing with this. So it's like a, I love a three quarter zip. It's a three quarter zip jumper thing. I'm going to try it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This is in a size 20, I think I picked it up in. Did I? 20 is it? Oh, 18, sorry. Oh, by the way, when I last, I think it was in one of my vlogs and I tried some stuff on from the trout shop, people were like, you're trying stuff on from the trout shop and you haven't washed it first. I will wash it before I wear it, but I, will, I do try it on. Okay, I wouldn't wear this top underneath it, but this is cute. This is like cash, everyday, nice. The only thing is the zip and this little thing is um rose gold. I'd prefer it was just silver or gold because I don't really like rose gold but you know what this styled I love a three quarter zip moment feels really nice quality as well originally from TU which is Sainsbury's I believe buzzing two quid two pound okay the next thing I got is this which is originally from TU Sainsbury's again it is a v-neck size 18 it's got like contrasting stitching type thing um it's in like this net but you know what i have one of these and i thought i'd buy this as well because i keep getting ideas on how i'm going to style it i never get around to doing it but i am going to style one of these and make it look good so i got that i don't know how that happened but originally from tu again it's like this kind of knit let's try this one <laughs> i can't help myself oh i love I love getting new things, right? And I think the fact now that I'm just making myself do everything from charity shops is not as bad as like going out and spending fortunes on stuff, is it? Oh, I freaking hell, table! Ah, oh, stop, stop! No, cause I love this. Oh, okay. This is a tiny bit bigger than I'd like it to be, but without this stripe as well, I wouldn't wear this with it. But like, ah. Oh, loungy days like this is so cute two quid two quid how are you two quid how don't worry you're worth way more than that love it. <laughs> i love a bargain right i also got two dresses this one's a jumper dress we're gonna have to try it on aren't we Ooh. and i got a shirt dress we will try them on. The only thing I didn't try on was, what did I not try on? Oh, the V-neck thing. Ugh, it's because I feel like that's just going to look shit unless it's styled. Oh, we might as well. But I just feel like unless this is styled, it's going to look shit. I mean, it fits, so that's nice. Right, I have visions for this because this does look shit. 
but I have big visions. Pretend you didn't see that one on. Follow us on Instagram and as soon as I've styled it, I'll put it on there. Right. I got this one, originally from Next. Two pound, again, two pound. This one, so I was a bit worried about it fitting. Ooh, Ooh could that actually be a dress? Or is it a bit short? No, I would wear that as a dress, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's what I wanted for, a jumper dress. Yeah, that's fine. Styled, like with a nice maybe little belt. This is nice. This is really nice. Two pound. Two pound. I love it. This was the one I was sceptical of. If it's actually wearable as a dress. And it's in a size 20. Who's nutmeg? Nutmeg? I don't know who the hell that is, you know. It does have buttons to undo. Or if you're a lazy bugger like me, you can just chop it over the top. Okay, wait there. So, this is the length of it. What has happened here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. We're tight. What is this? Oh, it's the, yeah, with tight. So it's got a little, it's got a little belt. Okay, thing is, I don't like shirts like that. You know what I would do with this? I have this like black mesh top and I feel like I would wear my black mesh top here and kind of open the buttons a bit. Mm, again, it needs styled. It needs styled. But I am not mad. What top did I have on this top? I am not mad at any of that. £14 and I've practically got a new wardrobe and the clothes. And then like other, other bits was what? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, seven, seven. Got scrapbook supplies, stuff for me woodland, mugs, a book, scarves. I've spoiled me so. Anyway. That is the goodies I've been picking up at the charity shop halls recently. What do you think? I'm actually buzzing. Actually buzzing. I think I got some unreal stuff. <laughs> anyway, I am going to dash off now because I am in the middle of an audio book on Audible that I am dying to listen to. So I am going to head off and I will see you very shortly for another one. Bye!